Good morning. My name is Chris Fusinata from the Brazilian Tourist Office in the UK and Ireland. That's um, Embratur, and you've just had a very exciting announcement yesterday. You're going to be, uh, Brazil's going to be hosting the uh, WTTC conference next year in Florianapolis. That's right, which is a fantastic achievement for, for Brazil and is also for Embratur, which is the Brazilian Tourist Board in Portuguese, and also for the state of uh, Santa Catarina, where Florianopolis is the capital city and the hosting city for the WTTC conference. Now, Embratur is expanding rapidly. Tell us a bit about the operations you have around the world. You're not just based in Brazil and the UK and America, but several other locations. That's right. We, uh, well, Embratur, which is the Brazilian Tourist Board, is, uh, is a very old organization in Brazil. It has about 41 years uh, in Brazil. Uh, in 2003, when Brazilian Tourism uh, Ministry was created, they actually took Embratur to do just the international promotion of Brazil. We started with six offices and now we have 11 offices uh, throughout the world and we have an expansion next year for another four offices. So we can have offices in all major countries in Europe, Portugal, Spain, Italy, France, Germany, UK and Ireland which is my office and then we have America, Los Angeles and New York, we have Tokyo and then we have one that looks after Central America and Latin America which is based in our head office. Brazil is a destination uh, it's a real buzz about it at the moment. Everyone wants to go there. Um, tourist numbers are up despite the worldwide recession. Um, it seems to be doing things correctly. I don't know why. Can you tell us a bit about it and why it is so popular? Well, Brazil is, a, is such an exciting destination. For instance, you have a variety of, uh, of everything. The only thing you don't find in Brazil is snow. But uh, there's no more... Uh, one of the most exciting cities in the world, it, it has to be Rio de Janeiro, where you have uh, the Sugar Love Mountains, you have uh, the Christ of Redeemer, which won the New Seven Wonders of the World last year competition, and uh, is, is a fantastic country with a huge diversity. Is, um, for instance, is also a very, a very large country. I think the UK market is very interesting in Brazil for the fact that Brazil you can travel for days without seeing another British person. There are some exclusive destinations, there are some exclusive resorts, and this is just a fantastic country. And how are the preparations going for the World Cup in terms of infrastructure? Yeah, no, that's, that's something where our um, the federal government is working hard to uh, to get everything ready for the World Cup in 2012, and it's, you know, it's, it's hard work, but we're getting there. And you've also got an Olympic bid as well in the offing. That's it, yeah. I think um, by October 2009 we should know who's going to be the country hosting and the city hosting the 2016 Olympic Games. We are competing against Madrid, uh, Chicago, Tokyo and Rio de Janeiro. Is the Brazilian city that is competing for that and hopefully we are going to win that one as well. And how important do you think it is having huge events like the World Cup and let's fingers crossed, the Olympics coming to Brazil to help not just tourism but also the whole population. I think, I think it's, a, it's a very good thing, in particular with the Olympic Games because the Olympic Games will allow people to, uh, to work, you know, all the volunteers that have to work for the, the Olympic Games. I think it would be very nice to get the young people together. There will be also people from all the other neighbouring countries, so it's going to be something for, I would say, for South America as a whole, more than just Brazil, but also attracts the younger generation to be more interested and involved with sports, which I think is a very good thing for, for any nation, really. Chris, thanks very much for joining us today on Breaking Trail. Great, thanks very much.